Hi, everybody. So I've received a few emails about some confusion and questions around the discussion questions, the posting, what's expected, how it works, what the point breakdown is. Um, and I went back to the syllabus and I do see where there is a little bit of a discrepancy. Uh, and I think where the confusion comes in is that for some modules, you are being asked to respond to two discussion questions. And for some modules, you're only being asked to respond to one discussion question. So for the modules where there are two questions, we typically would expect you to do your original post for each question, as well as respond to a classmate or colleague for each of the discussion questions as well. So for modules one and two, that would mean that you would be doing four posts total, two which are original, and two which are a response to a classmate or colleague. Every module is, the discussion component is worth five points. So in modules one and two, the way that it breaks down between the questions is that you'd get 2.5 points for question number one and 2.5 points for question number two. How I have been grading this is for question one, if you do both an original post and a response and you respond to the question fully, you are receiving 2.5 points. If you responded with an original post but did not respond to a classmate or colleague, I have been docking points. So some of you are receiving two points and I have been warning you that as we move forward, if you don't offer a response to a classmate or colleague, then your points will go down to 1.5. So you'll receive half the amount of points for that discussion question. And same goes for discussion question number two. I realize there's a discrepancy in the syllabus, so I'm going to go back to some of the ones that I've already graded out, and I'm not going to dock people for that. Um, but moving forward, it is important to know that when we get to the modules where there's just one discussion question, you will be receiving two and a half points for your original post, and you'll receive two and a half points for a response to a colleague or classmate. Now, when it comes to grading your original posts, this is, our, this is bit, pretty much the only thing that is required of you except for doing the reading, going through the PowerPoints, taking the quizzes. Um, and since you're not in class for four hours per week, we are expecting a substantial post. Um, I do posts that will get the highest amount of points are posts where I can tell that you are doing the reading and you're integrating the material. That's easier for me to do that when you are referencing things that you are reading. Um, I know that in the beginning of this course, I'm oftentimes more lenient with discussion posts, but the questions and the feedback I give you in my grading are to try to help you orient to the things that I would like to see more of or to see you attend to. So if the question is really clear and you are giving more of a broad answer but not answering the question explicitly, I might give you feedback about that and dock some points and be expecting you to do that the next time. So hopefully that's a little bit more clarity about how I'm expecting you to be doing the discussion posts and how those are getting graded. Again, if there's ever any questions, please let me know. Um, if for some reason you are responding to a classmate or colleague and that's not registering in Blackboard, um, please let me know that. And also maybe it's good to back up your responses, even your posts on a Word document in case it gets lost when you submit or Blackboard somehow isn't registering it. Um, I know there's been lots of issues with Blackboard this quarter, and they've been working on a lot of the wrinkles, just from a technical perspective, not from a syllabus perspective. Um, so there may be things in Blackboard that aren't operating optimally, and so I would hate for you guys to be getting docked for work that's not there that you know you did. So I would say always back it up. That way, if there's ever a question or concern about it, you can show me and I can verify that it's been done. As always, if you have questions, please email me.